Okay, so welcome to the tutorial that is how to make no sew bunting. And um, this is one of my favorite decoupage makes because it is really, really simple. You've got yourself in your kit three different napkins and nine little triangles for your bunting. And it's a really simple process. I'm going to take you through it step by step. The only thing you're going to need extra is a pair of scissors and perhaps a little pot to pop some of your Mod Podge glue in just to make it easier to use. You've also got a paintbrush in your kit so you're away and ready to go. Okay so the first job is to open out the napkin and you want to peel off the top layer. Each of the napkins is three ply and you want the top ply that's just got the image on. If you struggle to get it apart just grab yourself a little pin that often helps to prise it apart. So with the napkin separated so you've only got the first ply place your piece of bunting on it and you just want to roughly cut around the outside of it so just so you've got a little bit extra but not too much so you can see how that fits over the bunting and I've got some rough edges but that's fine that will get sorted out so each napkin you should be able to get six pieces out of to cover your um, bunting and as you've got nine pieces of bunting you'll be able to do three in each of the colors and you'll be able to do them both sides if you wish. So take that away now. I'm going to get ready to start my decoupage. And the first thing I need to do is get my paintbrush and put a nice light coat of um, Mod Podge glue over the top of my bunting. So it doesn't want to be too thick. It just wants to be a nice light thin coat but you do need to make sure you've painted it all over and if you get some a little around the edges that's fine don't worry that actually helps to break off the excess tissue okay so with that covered any bristles that come off your brush make sure you take those out the way with that covered get your piece of napkin and lay that over the top of your piece of bunting and then from the middle with a nice clean finger just gently spread out the napkin so that it sticks to the wooden bunty. Now it's really important that you don't get glue on your finger. If one finger feels sticky use a different finger or go and wash your hands but what you want it to do is to gradually stick itself to the uh, wood and then with a dry finger without it sticking at all you just gently rub it to release any creases or bubbles once you're happy that it's all rubbed down leave it to dry and then we'll come back to it and i'll show you what to do next so when you're happy that that napkin has dried you need to give it another really good coat of your mod podge glue so brush it over be really generous because you want it to add a really good seal to the bunting now you can do this as many times as you want depending on how well protected you want the bunting to be which will depend where you're going to hang it if you do hang it outside in sunlight the, eventually the napkin will fade um, there's sort of no protection against the UV side of things but you can hang it outside once you've mod podged it and um, just try not to put it in direct sunlight so they don't fade too much so give it a good coat like this and letting it just go over the edge a little bit so you'll see what I'm going to do next that's really going to help 
Okay, so once you've got that next coat on, you're going to just pull away the napkin along the side, like so, because that's going to finish off the edge for you. So pull it all away, be very careful not to get your fingers stuck on the top. And then we again leave it to dry. Okay, so with the bunting piece dry, um, you can give it another coat, but before you do, just tidy up the edges. So if you can see, a little bit of the paper has gone over the edge of the bunting, and you can just use the edge of a pair of scissors just to tidy up that edge and bring it so that you can see the wood and not the paper and that's just going to make it look really professional. So once you've tidied up the edges, then give it another coat of Mod Podge so it's had a good two coats on top of the paper to help it be protected. And once you've done that, you'll need to just punch a little hole where the um, string needs to be threaded through. And then I've given you two options of jute for stringing it up, mainly because if you decide to go with the red jute, the dye isn't necessarily held tight. So if it gets wet, there could be a little bit of running like there is on mine here from the jute. So if you think it's going to get wet, I suggest you use the natural colour because then it won't affect your bunting in any way. But if it's going to be inside or in a summer house, then use the red. Or if you're happy with a little bit of running from the, um, the coloured jute, then go for it and do what I did. But once you've got all nine made, string them together, put them up and enjoy them. <laughs>